Ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? Here is the deal. We're about to take on Fantina. Um, before we're hopping in there, we did a little bit of stuff to the team. Mostly grinded up this here giraffe. Golden Graham is kind of the perfect Pokemon for this. I mean, I know there's going to be some dark moves to scare us, but the bravest giraffe in Sinnoh is coming with... And um, this thing's going to be pretty nice for us. I think we can resist. All right, we don't we get hit by ghosts, so that's pretty nice. Uh, other than that, this is pretty much the squad that we're going to be bringing to the gym. I'm pretty comfortable with it. I think that, you know, we'll probably be okay with this. Um, if we pass the quiz questions, we can actually just get right through to the gym leader, I think. So that is the main objective, is to go whip some Fantina ass. Tina is not even ready for this, for this power. Isn't it in Platinum you get to battle fan this gym right away? I don't know. But let's get it. So, um, all right, let's do some math. Three plus five plus seven. Man, I just don't know. Um, is it 16 or 15? Wait, seven? Yeah, 15, <laughs> obviously. Hello? Did I do a good math? The answer is, should have been 69. Correct. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, we, now we just go to the next room. Seems like a lot of extra steps to just have a little Minecraft sign with a thing on it. Uh, 12 plus 28. 30, 40, or 50? Like, they couldn't have been more creative than just putting math problems on a, on a sign? Like, hello? Uh, but, whatever. We go through here. Congratulations, thank you, thank you. It does make you feel good about yourself, you know? What have we here? Is it all, is it all math for this? 3 times 13, 39, 93, or 33? Uh, 3 times 3, uh, 39, it's, it's, 30, it's 39. Ding, 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 doing math. Almost had to, almost had to bust out the notepad for that one. <laughs> um, so we want to go just all the way through, because Giraffarig is already level capped for this gym, and we don't want to um, over level with any of the trainers, so. First room's answer, 2, 16, or 15? It was 15, right? Oh my god, I already forgot. Am I a goldfish? Holy shit. Tina, hello. I don't remember what your team is, but I think we're just going to toss this here giraffe out there and just hope for the best, for the most part. Um, I think we'll be okay. It's also nice to know uh, Golem with Sturdy should be able to, as long as I don't hard switch it in. Actually, it's going to need to be hard switched in regardless. Whatever. All right. So, Fantina, it looks like your room is unfinished. There's like nothing in here. Very, uh... Very minimal is lifestyle. Where are the trinkets, lady? Where are your freaking trinket trinkets? <laughs> Hits us with the oh ho ho. Merry Christmas. Finally, you've arrived. Since I came to this region, I always try to learn new things. The hold, con they hold contest shows in this city. I say so. I say to myself, and I don't. What the hell are you talking about? I can't read, and also you're confusing. I study Pokemon very much. I've come to be the gym leader. Uh, so it shall be that you challenge me, but I shall win. Okay. Well. Uh, so we got a contest lady here. She goes from like seven years old to like a nice 35 and uh, She got three Pokemon, so I, w I really wish the gym leaders had more Pokemon. Um, she leads with Drift Blim actually, which is I Kind of forgot about that got the cool whip on the head and Giraffe says this should be okay as long as you don't have dark moves I don't know for the oh, I forgot to heal Giraffe rig. Oh, no, I only have seven psychics uh, That's not great. Well, I Could just go for an assurance I think we do just click we just try to sell this thing some insurance and I forgot to turn on the battle animations so that's a little bit annoying I'm also burnt so golden gram nothing like a burnt gram um, now we just go for psychics so that's actually kind of annoying that I forgot to turn on the move animations that's because I was grinding for like ever and it made it a little faster strength sap damn this thing really hates your physical attack it goes for the will-o-wisp and the strength sap like goddamn Psychic actually isn't even a two-hit KO here. Um, I might even, I might even switch. Being burnt there is actually kind of annoying. Um, I might switch right into Lucky Charms here or uh, Lux Ray Charms, just because I want to say I want to save the giraffe for later. Um, we're gonna intimidate this thing. I don't even know. Okay, intimidate actually gonna help us out of here a little bit. It goes for the fly. That's pretty good stuff. Uh, I just click, I just click Spark. As it is actually faster. Drift Blim with the freaking speed. It's a Pokemon staring contest because, yes, there's no move animations. 
Uh, my Luxray loves me. The Aftermath is a little bit annoying. That actually does a good chunk of damage. I always forget about Aftermath. I'm, I wish she would have rocked the Unburden on that thing. But Anyway, first Mon taken care of. Easy. Next is Gengar. Uh, level 34 Gengar. Could actually hurt. Could, pretty bad. Um, do we think this thing's going to go for a ghost move? Do I just switch right into Golden Gram? This is why we brought this little fell. This is, we're going for it. We're going for it. Hopefully this actually works out. because I can't really afford to take uh, too much damage here. I should go for... Confuse Ray! You son... Man, I don't know what else Gengar would have to hit Golden Gram. So I'm just going to stay in here and go for a Psychic and hope. Okay, he does... Does have Sludge Bomb. And... For some reason, I was thinking it wouldn't have Sludge Bomb. Okay, we have to take the burn damage here. Uh, am I going to die? No, we're good. <laughs> oh my god. If this giraffe died <laughs> right before, or, you know, right after I freaking trained all the way up, I would have been so sad. All right, well, at least it did what it needed to do if I would have <laughs> hit myself with that confusion. Good god. Okay, so we got to miss Maggie here. Um, I have a f I feel like it has Thunderbolt. Does this thing come with Thunderbolt? Oh god. Um, I could go into Choco Champ. I have Astonish with Technician. It's actually not horrible, but I don't really want to switch this thing in. I don't want to switch anything into Miss Maggie, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, I guess. Um, maybe I just go right into Gyarados, but does this thing have Thunderbolt? I'm afraid. Pretty sure it has a Grass move for Reese's Puff. Fuck. I have so many Glass Cannons. Um, hmm. His magical leaf. I think. I think I just go into Gar. I think I. I think we just go into Gyarados here. We should be okay to take an attack. I don't know what it's gonna choose to do against a uh, giraffe rig, but let's see here. Drop your attack. That's nice and useful. Dazzling gleam. Uh, does a decent chunk. We should be okay to live an attack here. Um, this thing's level 36, so it's definitely scary. Come on, life. This goes with Dazzling Gleam again. Perfect. It's so lackluster without the move animations. The crunch does take care of the Miss Maggie, though. So, I say, your hat is ugly, so you must die. And there you have it. Okay, well, that was definitely more scary than it really needed to be. Ooh, Dragon Dance. Damn, life. Okay, I see you, bro. I see you. Let's get rid of Bite. No need for that. Now we can dance. This Gyarados moveset is already exactly what I want it to be at like 36. That's pretty good. Alright. Got Lucky Charms at 36. Blue Bear to 35. Levels for freaking everybody. Okay. Well, cool. You're fantastically strong. I know, I know why I have lost. <laughs> why are you clapping like that, lady? Is that not the weirdest clap you've ever seen? Okay, I don't know. Well, we've done it. I am dumbfounded. So very, very strong. You and your Pokemon, so strong. Your power is admirable. I shall honor it with this gym badge. Well, thanks, lady. Look at that gym case. Just gym badge case just filling out. Got the relic badge. Amazing. That badge will let you use the hidden move Surf from your Pokatch. Take these technical machines, too. I know you make good use of them. We got some stickers. The best part is the stickers they give you. <laughs> and uh, TM-65s. Which is Shadow Claw. Now, Shadow Claw would have been a great move to put on Ambipom right before that battle. Just because Technician Shadow Claw is kind of pog. Um, do I just have to run all the way out now? Well, we've completed that. And what I'm going to do before we continue any further is turn on the move animations. Because I always forget to do that as seen there. And all right. Cynthia is always waiting for us. Hello, Synth. I'm so glad to see you. You're not very easy to track down. My grandma told me about what took place in Celestic Town. Thanks for what you did by the ruins. Hey, no problem. That Team Galactic. I thought they were just a bunch of eccentrics. You know, talking about how they don't go and make a, uni make a new universe and all. It's a weird way they dress, too. I thought they were harmless. Weird way they dress. You got a ball. You got an Umbreon ball sack hanging from your head, lady. I don't know what you think. What your deal is. <laughs> it appears as if they're more, a lot more trouble than I thought. I mean, stealing and hoarding Pokemon. That's just plain wrong. My God. By the way, did you find the ruins interesting at all? If you did, you may want to visit the library in Kanalave City. They seem to have ancient books that you might find interesting. Also may be of help to the completion of your Pokedex. You have to go there. All right. They truly don't let you be confused about what to do in this game at all. Uh, they just tell you exactly what you need to do. So it's uh, time we head to Kanalave. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to hop on the old trusty town map. And we're going to go to Jubilife and then just head to the left. 
Um, so there's some new routes and stuff. There's going to be a bunch of bunch of fun things to do over there because we actually, yeah, we do get to go to Iron Island. Gonna get a free Ryalu. It's going to be great. Oh god, it's the cops. Act natural. Route 2 up, 218 up ahead is a great fishing hole that's almost unknown to people. Really. You don't say. Well, let's, uh, let's check it out. Hello? I asked my boyfriend to meet me here on Route 218, but he's nowhere to be seen. <laughs> get stood up, lady. Um, so we can actually get a new encounter here. I don't know if there is there grass that I should save an encounter for. Um, but now we can actually surf, so let's do it. This is our first time surfing. A wild barrel comes out of nowhere. And this big old doofus is, uh, oh yes. Just mount this bad boy and we're in. Well, let's use a repel here. Spray that. And now nobody is going to want to touch me. So the water still is beautiful here, I'm not going to lie. Um, we go down here, and there is a place for a new encounter. So we get a new encounter here, but there's also some trainers. I do definitely need to do some battles with this uh, with this team to get some get some couple levels on them. So we'll we'll do the battles here. Guitarist Tony, sick hair, my dude. Well, he puts the tongue out. Kind of weird. Got a Luxio. Pretty punk rock. Down goes the Luxio. Punk rock dude is taken care of. And uh, let's actually, let's get our encounter here. I, th I think there's there's definitely some new stuff. There's rarely anything new you can find in the freaking grass in this game. But I do think that we can certainly find something new here, so. Oh, that was quick. Hello? Oh my god, it's a Mr. Mime. Okay. You know, that's actually not bad. I've been waiting for a fairy type, so that's pretty cool. Mr. Mime's quite the creepy fella, but uh, I'll take it. I had no idea you could find Mr. Mime here. That's kind of fun. Um, let's give you a quick ball and just see if that works. Please. Just... Okay. It didn't work. But yeah, it steals the ability. All right. Uh, maybe we'll be... I don't want to... I really don't want to kill this guy, so we're going to try now with a good old-fashioned... Heal ball would actually be very fitting for Mr. Mime. If I could catch you in a heal ball... That would be very aesthetically pleasing, so... Okay, never mind. No! Wait. I'm an idiot. Isn't Leech Life like 30 bit? Yeah, man. From Beautifly? Bro. I'm actually upset. So what the fuck is going on here? I'm trying to... Oh, it's 80. What world are you living in? <laughs> okay, yeah. Leech Life, in the past few games that I've played it with, has been 30. But yeah, it's buffed from like Gen 6 on. Uh, I'm an idiot. Alright, so let's go, into the, let's go into the new city, shall we? Oh, dude, what's up? This guy just blocking our way. Long time no see. You look puzzled. I remember who you are. I have not forgotten. Hits us with a kachunk. Looks like your Pokedex doesn't need upgrading. It lets you toggle between images of male and female Pokemon. Technology sure has improved lately. <laughs> I'll leave you to carry on with your project. Okay, well, thanks for letting me know. Uh, I'm talking about Team Galactic. Well, see ya. Would you like to use another one? No. I like how they don't even tell... Another what? I forgot I had a repel on. Alright, so... I do like this city. I do, one thing I remember is the one, the one place that's, like, locked. There's the house over here. This is it. The Harbor Inn. Text is too faded to read. Tightly shut. It appears impossible to open. Man, the only people in the Pokemon world that have ever locked their door. So let's check out. Uh, let's check out the new city. What do we got? In I, th I think there is some. Is this house? Is are you? Is this good? Hello? Who did I say I was again? Yes, it's the the move deleter. Um, there's no really need for that, so we're just gonna say no thanks. But that guy's got a nice. That guy kind of got his job taken from him now that HMs are. Obsolete. <laughs> it took our jobs. Um, so here we have the bridge, and there's also Barry. You're gonna challenge the gym leader up ahead, huh? I'm gonna check to see if you're ready for this challenge, Barry. So help me God, if you still have a a Starly. <laughs> okay, he has five Pokemon. Um, okay, it's a Staravia. Fine, thank God. All right, so I do have kind of my B team for this, but we'll probably be okay. It's gonna make this battle a little more interesting. Should not have led with Beautifly, um, but that's okay. I also don't have Luxray for this. Level 32. So we're going to just go into... I, don't, I really don't have much for this thing. I'm actually just going to bring in the Chimp. Good, why not? 
look at the the battle anim the, the battle environment is uh, I feel like it could have been a little better. I mean, it's like kind of got some planks. It implies that we're on the bridge a little bit, but like not really. <laughs> Let's double hit this boy. Double hit kind of always misses for me, but we're good. Oh yeah, Amber Palm with the clutch. Take care of the Star Avia, just because my team doesn't really like flying types at the moment. Um, there goes one. At least he has more Pokemon now, so that's kind of cool. Next is Heracross. Nice. All right, level 32 Heracross. Um, this guy got lucky. This guy got freaking lucky with uh, with some honey trees. Did you, Barry? Been lathering some honey, huh? I see you. Luckily, Heracross is a nice counter to this thing. Goes for the Brick Break. Heracross is like, did something touch me? Was that the wind? What was that? A little air cutter action here. I really wish... I think we get Air Slash, but probably not for a long time. And wow, that didn't even kill. Hello? Leer? Really? Who uses Leer on their freaking Heracross? Normally, this matchup isn't... You know, it could could have gone for like a Stone Edge or something. But no, he ain't got that. Barry, you stink. Yeah, there goes the hair cross. I am jealous of your hair cross, though. Pretty cool. Next is Ponyta. All right, level thirty-four Ponyta. Um, don't have much for that, I believe. I believe I'll just stay in and just go for a cross poison or two. I think this should be okay. I don't think this thing gets like wild charge or anything as a Ponyta, probably. Agility. Every time this thing goes in in agilities. Why you do this? Hit it. <laughs> it's faster, and what does he choose to do? Agility again. Nice. The Elite Four and the Champion will certainly be tough. That's what I'm looking forward to. I think that's going to actually be pretty fun for us. So, As long as I can make it to the Elite Four with at least a decent team, we're going to have a fun run there. So, Pebbles to 34. Very nice. Uh, Prinplup is next. Okay. Does this thing have an ice move? Dumb. Level 37. It's actually a little scary. Um, I don't know if this thing has an ice move for us. Um, we're a little under-leveled for this here. I think I'd go into Cheerio, scout it out here, but we'll... Mm, I think we're okay. Of course it just goes for the charm. I forget that Barry is absolutely unable to use any attacking moves because he doesn't realize that that's what you're supposed to do. Well, let's go for a nice little drain here. It does go for the brine. Okay, just waters my flower. That's all right. If I'm below half, it's going to do a lot, but you know, the drain's going to help me out here. It should be an easy two-hit kill. You love to see it. This could be a scary battle if, like, he had good moves and, like, the AI wasn't stupid, but... Okay. He used Pluck. I guess, yeah, Primpluck can actually have Pluck. That would be... It still wouldn't really kill me, but so we're good. Roselia coming in. Nice. It's nice to have Roselia back on the squad. This thing is quite useful. I think we get the evolution... The ability to evolve this thing pretty soon as well. Nice levels for everybody there. Yeah, Pop definitely needs some needs some level with Wheaties. Bite. Everything learns bite. I feel like every Pokemon should have the ability to know bite. Let me get rid of Poison Fang. We always use just use Cross Poison anyway. And now you get bit by this here bat. Give you some direct COVID. What else you got for me? We got out of tighter spots than this. He's got a Roselia too. He says, I will match you. And mine's a higher level still. Um, we'll just go... We'll go into Pops for this thing. Even a Mon without teeth? Yes. He still get bit by someone without teeth. Come on now. Okay, there's just a Giga Drain. That's fine. Drain my Pops. Mm -hmm. I really should have brought Krikatoon back, but I just, pre pre just prefer... Beautiful anyway, that's fine. I've been seeded. Oh no. Crit for the kill? Alright! Didn't even need it. Was all you dead? Nice. So uh was that it? Was that the last mon? We're getting all sorts of levels. And yeah, that was it. Alright, Barry. Get hacked, bro. This guy thinks he's slick, sneaking up on me on the bridge. And then I just beat them cheeks. Yeah, yeah, you're just a bit better than me as usual, but listen now, let me tell you who's gonna take on the Pokemon League and become the champion. You guessed right, it's gonna be me. I doubt it, bro. Uh, you should be. He's like, I'm gonna go in there and use Charm a, a zillion times against Cynthia. It's gonna be sweet. 
Uh, so there's that battle. I should probably heal and then we'll go into the library? Question mark? We just got the ability to surf and now we're going on a boat. We are now water sport enthusiasts. So we got that going for us. Um, boat is over this way. Hello? What's up? You want to set sail? I sure do. This guy's like, I just basically wait here all day to, to ferry somebody to Iron Island. You're the first customer. It's a free ride. <laughs> and fuel costs are getting up there. I don't know how these people do it for free. Um, so let's go to Iron Island. This should be fun. This, this, the, the great. You can't. You got to admit the graphics of this game do look pretty nice. We on a boat, bitch. And we've made it. Here we are. Um. One of the better things about it is that we can change our team at any time because we don't need a PC. So, I think we're just going to leave the squad how it is for now. Um, but let's see. So, there's a ha there's one house here. One lucky person lives on this island. And they're not even home. Is this... Whose house is this again? Is, it, is this Riley's house? Um, I guess we just head on in. I kind of don't really want to have Beautifly in front. Because, you know, rock stu rocks and stuff. So maybe we'll switch ya. Um, put Wheaties in front. But Champ seems like a good kind of guy to have in front here. So let's do it. We can actually get one encounter in Iron Island. Um, we also are going to team up here so we'll get some, some doubles action. But can I get one? I believe I can get an encounter before, before we do that. So let's do it. Go with that. Damn it, man. If you go deeper in the cave, there's Steelix. Oh, Steelix is further down. Oh. Holy fuck. Wait, could I not run from this Golbat? Oh no, now I can't escape. Fuck. Oh god, I gotta battle this guy. Oh god, boys. Oh my god, the crit. Machamp is about to die from a wild Golbat. Oh no. I can't switch because of the mean look. What the hell, Machamp? <gasps> do I have a Pokey doll? I think I do. Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> Pachirisu Pickup gave me a Pokey doll. Yes! <laughs> So apparently Steelix is farther down, so we will, uh, I guess we'll, I think Steelix and Onyx are probably our only encounters in this place, so that's fun. But let's just hack up Lawrence's day here. Let's ruin this guy's picnic. Get sand in his potato salad. It took three days to make that potato salad. <laughs> um, and yeah, it could be fun. Oh, there it is. It, it's Onyx. It's Onyx. So... This this is this is our encounter here. And we've done it. Onyx is ours. Alright. Do we get a metal coat in this place as well? I forget. When it travels underground, it causes rumbling and tremors. It can move at 50 miles per hour. That's a speedy onyx, even though he's okay. Well, what are we naming this thing? Fuck! I hit B too many times. Damn it. I didn't get to give this thing a nickname. Whatever, we'll go back. <laughs> when we end up using Onyx, I'll give it a nickname. <laughs> Here's an iron ball, just a nice little ball of iron. And now let's get to the actual place. Like, why do they even put this left room in here just for one trainer and an iron ball? You... What the hell? All right, this right here, this is the stair set you want to be in. I thought, at what point? Yeah, Riley teams up with us like pretty late, like later on, apparently. But, okay. Hello? What's up? Why is there, um... Why are people camping in this place? You know? How often do you see people camping in cave, pic having picnics in caves? Never. Got a Staravia. That's not good for my lead. Seems like a terrible place to have a bird Pokemon also. This lady is all sorts of confused. Frenzy Plant Chirio goes so fucking hard. <laughs> Frenzy Plant is a pretty poggers move. Alright, that right there is a dead charm. I hate that he has to stay cloaked. When the sun's out, he comes out and you see his smiling face. Cloaked charm is just sad. Get a 35 there on Pebbles. Alright, picnic it. I remember all of your nicknames. You need to go. Uh, there's an item right there that I kind of want, but I got. Okay, I'm going to get it. 
It's gonna be something useless. Actually, not really. It's a super repel. We'll take that. I'll take it. I'm not gonna spray a repel because I want to find a shiny, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, damn it. Really? Okay, so now I think we get to Riley. Hey, this is the same type of lift that there was in the gym. Okay. Um, so we'll go down to the left first, explore down yonder. Well, hello there, blue hat friend. You are? Okay, you're Hayden, I'm Riley. Sup, I'm a trainer, yes, and it's a bit odd that I would be training here. If you'd like, we can team up. The wild Pokemon here are restless. We decided to go with Riley. So they don't give you an option, we just gotta. Um, it's just nice they heal us, so, cool. Um, time to just take on these here hikers. I think that, uh... Is this a forced double battle even if I challenge them individually? No, it's not. Okay, well, I feel like it's just generally safer to go out, go about this as a non-double. I think the first hiker to have not, something other than just a Geodude and an Onyx. Freaking Roselia in front here struggling. Man. Double hit the bat, single hit the bat. Psych. Despicable. He's a very stylish man in a cave. <laughs> Love it. All right, Maurice. Maurice. He's got a Graveler, nice. I really hope that you're not sturdy with explosion. That's kind of my worst fear. We'll probably be okay. Ooh, and a Machoke. Damn, these hikers are really switching up their game. They're like, you know what? We're sick and tired of only having one type of thing. Changing it up here. One more little air snip to do it. Oh, it out outspeeds and goes for the strength. Okay, that's actually a little scary. Butterfly says, you gave me a little spook there, guy, but you did. <laughs> what are you cooking, a rice cooker? Salad. All right. Um, I don't know. Gotta love how Riley just follows me very closely. Make sure there's not a step between us, friend. Man, Pokemon World does no, not know nothing about COVID. Anyway, what do we got here? Beating you would be my hundredth straight win. Here's to a fun battle. 100th straight win? Man. Your streak stops at 99, lady. I hate to do it to you. Got a little fighting duo here. Metacham and a Krogunk. Okay, this is actually our first time seeing Metacham. That's kind of fun. Beautiful, I can learn Psychic, by the way. I should probably get the TM for that. Wow, that Metal Claw did nothing. Ice Punch? What the hell was that? Why would you use Ice Punch? I understand Roselia was there, but like, you're you're a psychic type. Also, what the? F <laughs> I'm upsetty. Well, <laughs> flamethrower on Metacham actually. Yeah. Could have a scary psychic move. This flamethrower just kills it though, right? Die nipple knee. No, it didn't kill it. Oh god, metal claw. No, it's the wrong one. We didn't want to metal claw that. And now just thunder punches. So good thing I didn't bring in Gyarados. We would have had the intimidate as well. Wow, Pebbles. That's the first time that's happened. I avoided a move because he loves me. I hate that so much. I really wish that I could just like give this thing some lashings to make you not like me anymore. So you don't do that anymore. <laughs> just backhand this. Monferno real quick. Don't you ever dodge moves like that. Okay? Alright, Necrogunk dead. So that was that was sad. Beautifly, man, I, I knew I was you know underleveled and stuff, but de definitely did not expect that. Double this is why we don't like double battles. Ooh, Pebbles wants to look close combat. Alright. Alright. Physical attack and special attack are nearly the same. I might as well just get rid of Flame Wheel. Keep power up punch and that might be nice for the next gym, so. Let's get close combat, boys. And finally, we're level 36 on Pebbles. Um, and also, we have a little surprise here. Pebbles is evolving. Fully evolved starter time, boys. Infernape is the best Sinnoh starter. And if you think otherwise, you're incorrect. Very nice. Monkey. But now I have to bury freaking Beautifly, so that's upsetting. Uses a special kind of martial arts involving all its limbs. Its fire never goes out. Um, so okay, that was sad. 
Well, little beautifly, I didn't imagine you would really stick around for too long, but I thought you'd last a little longer than that. But there you go, Pops. You are dead. What is this? It's a magnet. Nice. Okay, we got some ace trainers here, and if there's anything I know about these fellas, they'll hurt you. So, let's put... What are they going to have? I don't know. I, d I just don't know. Let's see what these green-haired folk got with the matching shoes swag. Four... F gee, okay, that guy has three. He got two. Pelipper and a Ponyta. Okay. Um, I don't know what the hell the Lucario is going to do, but I know I'm just going to waterfall the Ponyta. There's a little 31 and 33, okay. Life with the want to fall. Takes care of the Ponyta. And a Haunter. Someone gonna have? Oh god! I hope someone doesn't have. Th I hope you don't have Thunderbolt. There's no way they gave this Haunter Thunderbolt. There ain't no way. Shadow Punch. <laughs> On the Lucario, perfect. And there's an Air Slash. Oh no! Do not flinch me, please. Yeah, I'll get a Crunch. Take a nice little bite out of that there ghost. Tasty, delicious even. Um, I'm gonna finally take care of this Pelipper. Put you out of your misery. Go for a Thunderbolt here. What's with the Aqua Jet? What happens when Riley's Lucario dies? Do they have another Pokemon, or is that it? I don't remember. Thunderbolt Gyarados is still paying dividends, by the way. I'll have you guys know. Ooh, Sudowoodo. Mm, you know, you're going to have a scary rock move, probably. Takes care of the Sudowoodo. You're not going to be using Stone Edge on me today. There was, like, that one level 21 Sudowoodo that we battled that one time. That had Stone Edge. The hell was that? Well, that wasn't too shabby. That was good. You've bonded well with your Pokemon. Hey, thanks. I really try. <laughs> you know, I try my hardest. Um, so, there's... Here's these freaking goons. I get it now. You're responsible for agitating this, the Pokemon. I don't care what good reason you may have, but I don't want you bringing any trouble into mine. All right, we're Team Galactic. We'll take all the Pokemon we want. Right, partner? You said it, brother. That's what we're gonna do. We're abducting all the Pokemon from this rusted-out Iron Island. To share all the joys and the sorrows? That is how all the trainers in Pokemon live in Sinnoh. We won't allow, won't allow anyone to defy that code of ethics. Come on, Hayden. This is one battle we can't lose. I still have Gyarados in, in front, which is probably a little bit overkill, but that's okay. Really, we just got butt done battling these ace trainers, which were a little scary. And now there's these goons. You know when you have a Pachirisu out in Iron Island and you're having a good time? They, they probably should have tried a little harder. <laughs> we're a pretty good team here, though, Lucario. Look at us. Reflection of the Zubat. So, like, why is the ground like this? Why did we suddenly teleport to, like, a freaking galaxy? Okay, there's a Golbat. Okay. Does it really matter? Oh my god, it lived. Hello? Poison gas? Riley, do you heal me? Do you heal me before the end of this, or you're just, do they just leave? I think Riley just bails out right here. <gasps> Aftermath. Jeez. So these guys have been defeated. I feel like crying. This is so sad. Yeah, real, real sad. Who would have seen that coming? Stop. I said stop. Your combination is so sick. The both of you and your Pokemon. Let's beat it, partner. <laughs> oh, God. Thanks. You really helped me out. Listen, I have an egg here. Would you like to take it with you? Absolutely freaking lootly. like to show the Pokemon that hatches. I'd like you to show the Pokemon that hatches from the egg all sorts of new places. All right. We will add that to the box. But that's a pretty nice mon to have. Spending time with you is very enjoyable. Intend to test my skills in other places from now on. Let's meet again. And then you never see him again. Um, so yeah, we don't get to we don't get to run around with them anymore. I know I was missing some items and stuff over here, so so we can finally get this item. Hello, what is this? It's a bottle of HP up. That's actually pretty useful. And the best part about that is, ah, uh, I thought I could have just I thought I was able to just man. So that pretty much does it for Iron Island, which is cool. That was actually that was actually pretty quick. Um, I could have stuck around and grinded with Riley for a little longer, but, you know, I think we're alright. Now we head up here, and I believe this last item is a pretty important one for us, I think. What do we have here? That right there is a shiny stone. Finally. Shiny rock. I'm very glad that this thing survived this long as just a little baby flower, because now we have Roserade, which is actually a super sick Pokemon. Roserade has a cool design. Very powerful. It's, honestly... Probably one of the better Gen 4 Pokemon Roserade is. All my homies love Roserade. It attracts prey with a sweet aroma, then <laughs> then downs it with thorny whips hidden in its arms. Jeez. It's a little scary. 
All right, so let's head on out of here. That was a successful trip into Iron Mountain on the Iron Island. And we're just gonna have this guy look at it. He's like, freaking finally. Wait, made me wait long enough. Anchors away, and we're going back to Kanalabi. So now it's basically time to take on the gym. Fun stuff. Also, what is this? Sailor El Eldritch Town. Okay, screw you, Sailor. Um, let's assemble a squad for this upcoming gym. I honestly don't remember what the leader has, but I feel like we can pretty easily just get a team going here. Um, and also, level cap, did we say is 38 or 39? I think this seems like a respectable squad for this upcoming gym. Um, we're just going to be using Wheaties, you know, Pebbles and Cheerio and stuff mostly. I don't know. I could also lead Golem and not have to worry because I have Sturdy, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, so yeah, let's just hop right in and go whip some steel ass. Finally. Ooh. All right. So we got quite a few trainers in here, it seems. What is up, karate friend? Black Belt Ricky's got one Pokemon. This is a cool battle environment. He has a Steelix. I was for some reason expecting you to... I don't know, not have a Steelix, but... Down goes the Steelix. Always getting the critical hit when it's not needed. This is the story of my life. See you later, Ricky. Do not give up, my friend. The path to victory will reveal itself. It's called Get Good. I'm gonna go heal. So many options to go, I'm just gonna battle this guy instead, because there's too, there's, there's too many options. What up, worker? Gary. Gary had to get a real job. This is Gary Oak. He's just grown up and has a real job now. Yeah. All right, Golem. Atta boy. I could have... Okay. <laughs> hmm. This somehow doesn't seem like the place I want to go. What about here? Huh? All right, more workers. Up and down you go on the lifts. Me? I like to battle. What are you a work how are you a worker then? All this guy does is battle. I guess his his work is just working in the gym. But the hard hat seems unnecessary. Yeah, maybe not. He's got an onyx. It's probably just some stray rocks flying around, I guess. Oh, Iron Tail. Okay. That does nothing because you're, you know, freaking ten levels lower. More annoyed that they were we've only seen Onyx so far in a freaking steel gym. We saw we saw one Steelix in here so far. And then other than that, just a whole bunch of rocks. They're like, rock, pretty much steel. Same thing. It, it counts. Use milk on a Reese's Puff. Yeah. Moo Moo Milk. I should be using Moo Moo Milk for every time I heal, because all my Pokemon are cereal. I didn't even think about that. My god. Ooh. All right. We got a... Got an ace trainer in here. Okay. What are you going to have for me, friend? You guys are always scary. Seize it. It's little Caesar. A Scroopy? Scroopy? This is a steel gym. What the hell? How did you get the job here? You brought a bug type to a steel gym. That's an interesting... Interesting idea. Um, well, I'm going to use Rock Blast. Because I actually I learned Rock Blast. And then I never have used it. So, <laughs> That's a two-hit kill there. Scroopy dead. It has Iron Tail, so it's Steel. And then here's a Steelix. Um, all right, Caesar, you, you disappointed me. You know, you really disappointed me there. Okay, this is the only way for me to go. Ooh, now we go across. Look at us. Still seems extremely dangerous. Right or up? I'm going up. Okay. Um, am I? Am I getting close? Oh, nope, not at all. Damn it! Oh, there's a, there's. A, I think this might be the last trainer before the gym leader. I don't know. Okay, is this now? Am I? Can I do it now? Am I here? No. But I'm close. Oh. Okay. Still another trainer. Damn. I just stay mashing bulldoze on this onyx shit, getting old. <laughs> Real. I bet you he's going to have another Onyx. Why are they karate guys, anyway, also? Uh, okay, now we go down. They just got me going all over the damn place. I kind of just need to get out of here now, but... Whoa, my god. Really? Another Ace Trainer? Jeez. 
Alright, you guys ready to battle some more Onyxes? Because my body is ready. Ace Trainer's not gonna have an Onyx, right? Brianna? Come on, Brianna. Yeah, it's an Azumarill. Hello? But why, though? <laughs> they just throw a random Azumarill. Okay, well, this isn't great here from a champ. And we should probably bail. He's sleepy. Yep, that's not a good time for us staying in here then. We're going to Cheerio. That right there is a dead little Easter bunny. Easter egg bunny. He's both the Easter bunny and an Easter egg at the same time. That's crazy. Now we go all the way this way and we found the forbidden red plus. Nice. And this takes us all the way up. My god, how would there be even room to battle up here? What is this? <laughs> uh, my team needs a little maintenance before we do this. Um, the main thing I'm worried about is the PP on Bulldoze. I only have two left. Honestly, if I could just, I'm just going to use... I'm just going to get that PP back and I think we'll be okay. Hello? The slow pan. He's like, I got my shovel. <laughs> That's Orberg's gym badge. I see, I see. You defeated my son. That's no surprise. He still has much to learn in place of my son. Rourke, I, Byron, will accept your challenge. Nice. Nice and straight and to the point. I actually... I like that, Byron. Thank you for that. Okay. So, is this guy going to beat me with that shovel? He has three Pokemon. What, do you lead with the Basti? No, Bron... Oh, it's Bronzor. Okay. Um, this has been a bad choice. Leading with the golem. Mm -hmm. Not my best choice. So, want some play? There's no time for play time, golem. These things are levitate, right? I can't, I can't bulldoze this. This is upsetting. Um. Bam, 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 bam. Here's the bronzer you asked for. Yeah. I could probably just go right into Gyarados safely. I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't know what bronzer is gonna do. Um, it's kind of annoying that it's not a bronzong, but. Time for Gengar, technically, but it's gonna be- it's gonna have, like, psychic moves. I feel like Gengar is not safe. I go into the- go into the Gar the Gyarados. So we're gonna have Levitate or Heatproof. It's probably Levitate, I would assume. Throw back to when I used to use Bronzongs in Wi-Fi battles and name them- I would nickname them, uh, Heatproof. Or nickname- nickname them Levitate, and then they would have Heatproof, so no one- it was actually kind of a big brain play using a heat proof one, because then you just resist fire a little bit, and then no one still no one uses ground moves on you anyway. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and take a nice little bite out of this here coin. Make sure it's real. Munch, munch, and crunch. And confuse Ray. Bruh. Okay. I do appreciate this battle environment. Again, I'll say it again. Uh, we're confused. Gyarados is pretty safe here. Unfortunately, we will be kind of hurt if I do hit myself and then... Yay, well, nice. Alright, cool. I was kind of worried about that because I want Gyarados to be useful for the rest of the two mods. I mean, I think we're pretty much fine. I have Machamp and Infernape and, you know, Golem and stuff, so we're good. Alright. What do you got next for me, buddy? He set up the Sandstorm, which is fine. I am confused. There's the Steelix. Um, this thing probably has Thunder Fang. We know that these, these guys like to bust out crazy fangs and stuff. Um, ideally, it goes for... I mean, it's probably going to go for a rock move, honestly. I think I'm going to go into Reese's Puff here, just to see what it does. It probably also has Earthquake. Mm. Which is kind of scary. Going into Golem in hopes that it does Thunder Fang. It does! Nice! Alright, Reese's Puff. Good work, buddy. Good work. Now we can just go ahead and go for a nice little bulldoze here and see what it decides to, decides to go for himself. Obviously not going to do over half. We've had much practice on other Steelixes in today's... Endeavor, it does have Earthquake, okay. Uh, oh my god, alright. Well, we had Sturdy anyway, that's fine. We got a little bit of that damage off on this thing. Sandstorm goes away. I feel like that Sandstorm lasted like five seconds. Uh, so we can't take this thing out. What I could do is predict another Earthquake, go into life. Get the Intimidate, but then that's that's actually kind of scary. Um, I think I go into Gyarados here, I can get an Intimidate. And then switch into Wheaties as we know it's going to go for a Thunder Fang non-stab. So let's do that. Let's go into life here on its Earthquake. It, it definitely clicks Earthquake here, right? This AI sometimes does some stupid shit. We'll see what happens. Intimidate. Yeah, there's the Earthquake. Okay, perfect. So now we got minus one. Now it's probably going to go for the Thunder Fang. Now I can just bring in Wheaties. And we'll be good. 
Thunderfang normally does nothing on Steelix anyway, just because, I mean, we could have stayed in on Gyarados there, but probably is not really worth risking it. Does go for the Thunderfang. Non-stab after an Intimidate does negative damage. And now it's time for a nice little swift kick to the jaw. And that kills it. All right. Oh, critical hit too. Pog. There goes Steelix. Now one Pokemon left. Reese's Puff. Growing dim levels. Cheerio is finally at level cap. Nice. Okay. The last is the sh freaking sh shield face, right? What's this? My last one. Yeah, down to Bastiodon. So, this thing can kind of hurt a little bit. I'm only level 37 here. I kind of want to go into Gyarados again on this thing. What moves does this thing have, though? That's what I'm always confused about. Hmm. Maybe I just stay in here and low kick. I don't think this thing can kill me in one hit. I'm going for low kick. Screw it. Low kick right to the face. <laughs> and... It knocks it to its sturdy. Oh! Okay! Oh wait, oh no. Iron defenses! <laughs> you buffoon! I was probably fucked there, you're right. But... We're good. It iron- wow, iron defense? We got really lucky there. Metal Burst would have been a bad- a bad time. Um, all right, well, great success. Great success. We've done it. <laughs> I almost lost my champ there. I kind of forget about Sturdy on that thing. <laughs> well, you were strong enough to take down my prize team of Pokemon. That's truly the story of the AI in this game. Like, why do they make them use useless moves? We got the Mind Badge. Very good. That's two badges today. We just got out here... Taking badges and dubs. Take these two. We get the sticker that Byron uses. Thanks for the stickers. And the TM91s. What do we got here? Flash Cannon. Pretty solid steel move. Very nice. So, we'll go all the way around. And, um... That's pretty good. So, uh... Nice. The scariest thing today was... That Golbat. <laughs> Which is hilarious. And all I had to use was a doll. Whoa! Hey, friend. That's the Mind Badge. Get going. You're even tough enough to take a shot at becoming the Pokemon Champion. Of course, I'm tougher. Listen, I've whipped that ass every time we've battled. Come with me to the library. You just go right to the library. Can I get a heal first? My team's kind of hurt. No heals for me, apparently. I mean, I can, but... I mean, it seemed like he was in a rush, so we're going. Into the library. They're gonna be chilling here. Wait, I thought they were sitting there. I guess at the top. Uh, yes, fun fact. There's a there's a book in this library that used to say something about like Pokemon people marrying Pokemon, and it's gone now. They they knowingly took that out, which is hilarious. That is the first time the gang's all back together. Everyone's finally here. Listen up. You may have forgotten already, but I studied the evolution of Pokemon. <laughs> Look at the way he. Like, turns so clunky. It's so clunky. God. The more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. There's some Pokemon that evolve and others that don't. What makes them different from each other? Do immature ones evolve into ones that are more mature? If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Are we to assume that the legendary Pokemon of Sin are complete creatures? Yes. This is where you three come in. There's said to be mysterious Pokemon on each of the three legs of Sinnoh. If we can obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. I need help from each one of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these mysterious Pokemon. What are you saying? I didn't get a Pokedex. Yeah, well, who is it? Wait, you didn't get a Pokedex? Hold up. Yeah, we do look like brothers. I kind of like Barry's hair better. I don't know about the the, the wings, though. Who is it that bolted from the lab before I got a chance to give them one? That's, uh, <laughs> that's water under the bridge. Yeah, you just dipped out. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you becoming a better trainer, too. He's like, yeah, you can't, I can't afford to give you a Pokedex. These things are expensive, man. You'll go, too, won't you? Sure. Would have made you all go regardless. Now then, <laughs> there are three lakes. Fortuitously, there are also three of you. You should split up and investigate the lakes individually. You got it. Don, you got a Lake Verity. Will do. Barry, I want you to investigate Lake Acuity. Uh, take, that would take you almost to Snow Point City. Nice. The road there is harsh. You need a tough trainer to go. Of course, Gramps. You know how you call it. You can tell. You can tell I'm the hotness. Don't ever say that again, Barry. And that leaves Hayden with Lake Valor. Lake is between Veilstone uh, and Pastoria. If memory serves. Oh! Earthquake, get under the desk. 
I grew up in California, so I'm, I've been prepared for this my whole life. Let's go outside. Be careful. I'm concerned about the city. Um, so it was actually... It's, it's, it's this explosion or whatever. Hurry along. Be aware of the aftershocks. Yes, I'm, I'm aware. Okay. Love how that other youngster right there was just like, nothing happened. I just can go about my day here at the library. Uh, so we go outside. What has happened? Wow, that tremor. That wasn't a natural occurrence. You don't say. Oh, Sailor comes waddling up. What's up, Sailor? Hey, hey, old dude and kids. Something big just happened. Just saying there was a huge ex huge explosion at Lake Valor. Kaboom, like that. Did he just say that? Grams, I'm gonna go to the lake. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, see you, buddy. Make sure you only walk with right angles, guy. That Barry can't sit still. Hey, I'm worried about Lake Valor. However, I have no idea what is taking place. You must find out. Before you go, I can't stress this, stress this enough. Don't get in and over your head. I'll try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. Listen, it seems like we should probably go to the, the source of the problem. But they're like, nope, well, you go first. <laughs> um, and so, it's basically now our job to go try to not get exploded at the lake. So... Thank you guys very much for watching today's episode. Make sure to leave a like and a comment on the video. It does help a lot. Also, subscribe if you're not already. Um, I know a lot of you have been, you've been around for a long time. I do appreciate all the support. Thank you guys very much.